everybody that when taught me how to play first base told me to put my feet, my edge, my feet right here on the inside edge of the base. And I thought being as tall as I was, it was too narrow a base for me to have any kind of movement, all right, and to be in good position to move my feet. So throughout my playing time, what I did is what I did is I widened my stance. So I teach all my first basemen to widen their stance. And when, notice that Mike's got a good wide stance here, so now he can shift wherever he wants. The other thing that this does is it exposes the corners for Michael so that he does know where they are without having to look. If Michael were to drag his right foot over to this side of the base to touch, notice that he gets right on that corner. Now he makes the most use out of the distance of the base when he's going to stride that to step out to catch a ball with his left. All right. Now, if he had his feet right up in on the corners like I was just talking about, and he started put that foot over and strides out, notice he's got about three or four inches that he's losing in his stretch. That's not going to help him when he really needs to get out there for a ball. So what we really like our first basemen to do here is to get their feet on the outer edges with a little space in between. Also notice that he's on the front of the base so that now when he slides his foot across, he doesn't have to lift it up. He just slides it across the front of the base. He doesn't have to lift it over the base. He knows the base is behind his heels. This, it gives him a better chance to stride and slide over to put his foot where it should. And the second thing is, is it leaves the back of the base open for the base runner so he, as the first baseman, does not get stepped on accidentally. And that's really what we don't want. All right, so you'll notice that these are, this is the position that he's in. All right, now the basic stride for Michael on a ball that's thrown right at him. Basically what he's gonna do, uh, the striding position at first is a two-step position. It's a tag, step, and catch. Okay, and that's what we try to accomplish here. This is the most important part of the first baseman other than fielding the ground balls. This is the part that makes separates him from the rest of the first baseman. If he can get his footwork down, he can pick these balls, he can make bad throws uh, into good throws, pick balls out of the dirt, and this is the key. And so this is where it all starts, right here. So this is one of the most important phases of it. Basically what's gonna happen now, Michael is going to sort of lean with a non-tag foot. So if he wants to tag with his right foot, he's gonna lean his weight on his left, he's gonna put that foot in the middle of the base, all right, and he's going to stride out to catch the ball that way and as he's going to step and catch at the same time. So he wants to step and catch the ball at the same time. We'll demonstrate that as we go. The other thing that you'll notice that Michael will do too is when he puts his foot up here to stride out, if he keeps it up here on his toe, he makes sure his toe is on the base because if he puts his foot this way, when his foot comes out, it'll come off the base, runner will be safe. So he can either put his toe on the base or he can turn his foot inside and make sure it extends with his toe. That gives him more reach when he reaches out. All right, we're going to toss a few balls for him here right now, right at him, and he's going to show you how to come out and make the play, and he's going to step, catch the ball at the same time, and move off the base as he does that. He's not going to linger on the base. And he comes off. That's the key right there. Step, catching off. We don't want you to stay on the base too long. Try it again here. There it is. See him? Steps out. Just as soon as his front foot lands, he catches the ball. We'll try one more time, and then we'll explain why we want to do that. There it is right there. That's an excellent job. Now. The reason why we want you to step and catch there, all too often we'll see first basemen get in their position, tag their tag foot, step out, and the ball will still be way out here, all right? The reason why this is dangerous is because the ball has a tendency to tail or sail or sink, and he's off balance, so he can't adjust to that. Shortstops and third basemen sometimes throw sidearm and all. This is why we want him to wait to step to catch the ball. We don't want him to step out here because if the ball's off, he's gonna to have to do this, lose his balance, and not be where he should be. All right, so that's really important in this footwork kind of scheme of things. He has to really get himself ready in a balanced position. Knees are down a little bit, lowers his hips so that he can move left or right. He's also told to be expecting a bad throw. All right, you can't get relaxed and expect all the throws to be where they should. Okay. Now, this is where some of the controversy comes in. I don't want to say it's controversy, but some of the differences on people that play first base. In Michael's case, some people teach that first baseman to tag with their right foot all the time. All right. And that's fine if he goes to catch a ball to his left. So if there's a ball over here, Michael can tag with his right foot, and he's way over there for the stretch. Now comes the ball over here. So if he tags with his right foot, he turns over and he catches that way. That's not to say that you cannot do this, but what this does is it turns his back to everything. And this is not the way I teach it here because I think the ball is more important all right, and then relax. So what I teach here, and what I like our first baseman to do, is again, slide his left foot over tag and keep his chest sort of facing the ball. Now, he may have a little bit of limited distance in how he can reach. He probably can stretch out farther turning his back, but what he loses in that, he gains in the ability to block a ball or move off the base to get the ball if it's a bad throw. With his back that way, he's gonna have difficulty. And I also think it opens him up when he's picking a ball in the dirt. So shifting to the right and the left, I think is very important instead of just tagging with one foot because it allows you much more freedom to move and move off the base and get what you need to get out of it. 
Uh, we work hard on this because most of the first basemen like to tag with their right foot and just keep doing that all the same way all the time. Um, Michael's developed this into a very good, uh, very good uh, positioning all the time with that, and we'll show you how that goes. I'll toss him some balls left or right. Okay, so we show you the sort of left and right tosses here. Okay. There he is over there, comes off the base, steps, catches, and comes off the base. That's a good job. Another one over there. All right, that's a good job. Always working inside the baseline. Always working inside the baseline so he doesn't get hurt. Now we're going to go to the other side. There it is right there, all right? Nice smooth step. All he does here now, it's a two-step move. Lotus it, watch it closely. He leans his weight to his right, drags his left foot over, and then steps out to catch the ball. All right, now what I do with Mike here and our first baseman is I test to see what kind, of, what kind of length they got with their stretch. So I toss the ball way out. So he's got to learn how far he can go, still tag the base, and then if he can't, then he's got to learn to come off. That's it right there, see? Save the ball, keep the runner from going to second base. That's what we try to do here. All right, he's got to see how far before, oh, there he goes, that's a good stretch. He's finding his distance there and what he can do with the ball, okay? So these things, we spend a fair amount of time on that right there. That was a good job. That, we, that probably would be called out. He did a good job with that one. He got out, caught it, and sort of, so if he steps and catches all the time, that kind of play right there, we might get that call. And that's kind of.